Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I wanted to bring a haul to you guys today, a Dollar Tree haul, and some Walmart things. I know I'm a little late to the game because if you guys have been shopping in Dollar Tree, they're already putting out Christmas stuff, you guys. It's not even October yet. It's not. We're close, but it's not October yet. And they're already putting out Christmas, which whatever. I already know I'm going to be shopping early for Christmas. I know I'll be going into the Dollar Trees. We have three around where I live. So, I'll probably peruse all three at some point. One is pretty new. And it's, I don't know if it's bigger, but it seems like they carry more. It seems like they carry more than what the other two do. And maybe it is bigger. I don't know. So, anyways, they're already trying to clear out some Halloween decorations and bring in some Christmas so there's a good possibility that some of these things may not be in your Dollar Tree but if you're in bigger Dollar Tree like bigger areas with Dollar Trees or if you have like four or five around where you're at I can almost guarantee that some of these things will still be there um, so go run today to your Dollar Tree if you have not already and if you guys don't shop at Dollar Tree you're missing out even if you like don't care that it's a dollar like if you can go buy a $15 piece that's totally up to you that's totally cool and I still buy pieces that are kind of pricey I've got a couple that I've shown in another haul they're on some cabinets like to the other side of this TV stand right here and I know they'll last for a while and even these Dollar Tree things like they'll last you for a while so to go and pay a dollar and you can get three times the amount of just cutesy little Halloween decoration things and little DIY stuff. You can always get stuff to do DIYs from Dollar Tree, which is one thing that I got to show you guys. And I'm hoping to get to do that DIY this week so that I can insert it in with this video and put it at the end of this video. So we'll see. I'll show you guys that though later. First, I want to show you the stuff that I got from Walmart. And if you guys want to watch this, keep watching. If you don't, that's totally fine. Click off. I have so many other different videos. I've got hauls. I've got like a challenge video on my um, page. I've got all kinds of stuff, you guys. You can go check out anything if you guys don't like hauls or if you don't care about Halloween or whatever the case. So, if you guys want to watch, I'm going to show you the Walmart stuff I got first because it is Halloween-y and most everything I have is Halloween. I do have a few things that are... I do have a few things that are not Halloween and I'm going to show them... Whenever we get to the Dollar Tree part, I'll show that first because I want to save all the Halloween stuff towards the end. And I want to save, I think I want to save my DIY project towards the end because it's kind of Halloween. It's kind of not. So, anyway, enough rambling. First things first, of course, my daughter, if you guys have watched any of our videos, you see this? If you guys have watched any of our videos, you know she loves slime. That was like the first thing she picked out when we went to Walmart. There's these. These. Let's see if I can show them all you guys. And these. So, uh, there's two of each color slime. And that I think they were like maybe $2 for this. But these were at Walmart. If you walk into Walmart, they're kind of in the front. That's where they had them at ours anyways. There's a little section, kind of like where the school supplies are, like in the middle of the aisles, you know. That's where these were. So if you guys go into Walmart often and you know what I'm talking about, they're probably had their last little bit of Halloween stuff right in there. So go check it out. And these are just cute little things. The whole section was like a dollar, two dollars. And it was just cute, fun little things, like little, almost like, um, stocking stuffer type things like if you do a Halloween basket for your kids which I would love to do um, they are like little things you can put there so then my daughter picked these out why I got them I still don't know but they're the little kazoos flutes whatever you want to call it I don't know noise makers but they're cute I don't think I showed the price. Oh, 98 cent. Duh, on the front. It's like 98 cent. I mean, that's something cute and easy. You could throw in a little Halloween bag if you wanted to. A little Halloween basket. And then I found these two things. 
And if you guys used to do these back in the day, these were like the most fun thing to do. Like you just take colorful crayons and draw on a paper and then you took a black crayon and you colored over it and then you could scratch in whatever kind of little sand you wanted. Now they just make pads that look like that. Like they're already pre-done for you guys. It saves so much time and you can just draw whatever you want to. So I picked these up for Maddie because I was like, mm, she's a pretty cool kid like I am. She likes doing things like this. I actually think I got one of these things. I got something like this for my niece one time. It was like a bigger, had more to it type thing. So, but these are a dollar. Right out there, a dollar. You cannot beat stuff that's a dollar like that. I mean, just easy peasy. Something they can play with for a while. And then, I'll show you this last. I also found these little foam shapes. So there's a little bat. I think these were a dollar too. Yeah, they're all a dollar. It's like, especially for crafty things, why not? That way you can save your money. If it happens to get broke, it gets broke. It's fine, you didn't lose a lot. Or if you throw it away in 10 years, if you're a hoarder like my mom is, she saved a bunch of stuff of mine when I was a kid. I was like, throw that in the trash. I don't want it. <clears throat> I don't want papers. Unless they're like super cute. If it's like a note I wrote, or if it's like a handprint, I don't save anything else, you guys. Are y'all like that? Do you just throw your kids' artwork away if it's like scribble, scribble? I don't know. Anyway, and then I got some pumpkins and some ghosts. And I think these were the only three shapes they had. I think. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and double check, but I don't remember seeing any other shapes. So they're just little foam shapes. You can put little googly eyes on there and put some like foam hearts or foam pumpkins or something. Whatever you want to do, you can make them all cutesy. And then I went in Walmart the other day. I've had these for a while, you guys, too. I've had these waiting to do this haul for like three weeks, I think. So then I went in Walmart, Walmart? Walmart the other day and I found these little caution tapes. I think they were a dollar too, yeah. Little caution tapes. I was like, okay, how can I not? And then, if we ever wanted to do like a um, Halloween party or something, this would be really cute to put up. All right, I have so much stuff in front of me, you guys. If you can see my desk right now, I, it's like the whole thing is just covered with stuff right now. So I'm gonna try not to like give you guys a sneak peek at this little piece. All right, so these few things some of these are stuff that my daughter picked up when she went in with my aunt one day but i still wanted to show you guys because it's so cute if you have kids if you have you know even if they're eight nine ten these would probably be some things that they like uh, if they're into this look how cute these are little descendant stickers <clears throat> and they're like the bubble stickers so they're um thick what kind of plastic raised stickers is that what I'm trying to say let's see yeah can you tell they're like they have like an edge so they're cute they're like really cute do your kids love descendants mine has watched one two and three we both know all the songs I think they're the cutest little movies they're like the high school musical of my day because high school musical came out when I was when did it come out? In like 2006, 2005? Because they graduated the same year I graduated. I swear they graduated in 07, which is when I graduated from high school. Um, anyway, so it's like the High School Musical of our day. If you guys loved High School Musical and you have not... If you loved High School Musical and you've not watched Descendants, go do it. I promise you'll not regret it. They're the cutest movies. I know every single song when it comes on. I'm in there jamming with her. We're singing them in the car. I have the CDs. I think I have one, two, and three. Yeah, I have one, two, and three. The actual CDs that you can just put in your car and we'll listen to them in the car. They're the cutest thing ever. I go watch them. And then Maddie picked this up, and I need to do a little um little work on her because she lost her top. But it's just a little mermaid, just a little basket that she can put. 
whatever, and it says mermaid off duty. It's so cute. Y'all, she lost her top. I know she had to have had shells on there. And by the time I went back, I didn't see any more like this, or I would have just bought another one or seen if I could exchange it for one or something. They didn't have any more, so I've got to <clears throat> cover her back up because she's a little exposed right now. But this was cute. I was like, she could throw like her rings in here, or they could throw like chapsticks in here, or I don't know, whatever. Or she can, if she doesn't want to let Riley have this, and she could just use this like on her nightstand, that would be really cute. And then if I could find something similar for Sissy, she could have one for her side. Because their whole room, if we ever get to put them in the room together and change them around, we're going to paint, redo the floors, um, totally rearrange the room. We're getting them a bigger bed. That We're not getting them a whole new bed, like sweet bedroom suit. Sweet. I'm so tired, you guys. I, I know I say this in like my last four videos, but I've just been so like exhausted because I stay up late usually doing filming and editing and stuff like that. And then during the day, I'm doing with my toddler and all these things. And I'm like, it'll be better when she goes to school. Then I can do everything I need to do while she's in school. And then in the afternoons, I'm all theirs. So I can go to bed when I need to. So just trying to hold out for pre-K, you guys. Anyway, we're going to be doing their room mermaid themes. So if we can ever get them switched around, Riley's crib will turn into a full-size bed. So we're going to put... A new bed in there we're gonna buy a new um, mattress and then turn her bed into the full-size bed and we're I've already decided I've got to go to Ikea or order if they ever get them in, in stock I'm gonna do the, like the pack system and I'm gonna put five different wardrobes throughout their room like on each side just for books and movies and like extra storage you guys because we're over running with books and I already know my child racked up the other day. We were, um, she had her book fair, and I was like, well, let's just try to get, like, one book maybe for right now or get something other than books because we have no room at all for books right now. And <clears throat> so she did, she found one book, and the other things she found were, like, little journals and stuff that she usually goes through pretty quick, and then we throw them in the trash because she's filled up the pages, drawing on them and writing and stuff. So I, I said, well, I'm going to get the Ikea wardrobe and we can put doors on them and it can make it look like built-ins in the room so I'm gonna get some of those so that it's just storage it's just all extra storage but they've been out for so long and I'm like please get them back in because I need these so we're gonna switch our rooms around and turn it into a mermaid theme I think I have narrowed down to what comforter I want to get it's really hard. I found like six different comforters that are so cute. They're not like mermaid specific, but they're colors. They're like um, pink, purple, and teal. So pretty, you guys. So pretty. So I'm so ready to get their room switched around and get it painted and get, we've got flooring. It's in our hallway and we trip over it when we walk up down the hall. We've had it for almost a year. Almost, no, we've had it for like six months probably because we got it in the summertime. Like the start of summer. I don't know. We've had it for a little while, but not a whole year. So, trying to be patient and get all that done. Hopefully, we can get it all done before Christmas. That would be great if we could at least get paint on the walls and the floors done. Then they can, we've got a blow-up mattress. So, if need be, if it comes to it, we can go ahead and put them on the blow-up mattress and then get them both in the room. Because I know putting Riley's crib, right now it's in a toddler bed. So, putting her toddler bed in there with Maddie isn't going to work because she's going to climb in the twin size bed with Maddie and like then that's gonna be bad so <sighs> it's a whole thing you guys but long story long it's gonna be mermaid themed so if we ever get to do it there'll be little mermaids in there there are little mermaids I love my little mermaids they like to swim in the tub they don't even care if there's bubbles in there bath salts they're dunking under the water like they're swimming in the, the beach okay and so then Maddie picked this up the other day and I was like I really don't like this stuff but I said you can get one can and I know I'm bad mom shame on me my mom got on to me because she was like your children have never had popsicles and I was like no we don't really buy popsicles I mean I did when Maddie was little I said but poor Riley she just ain't had she doesn't have the things that Maddie had when she was little she's a I reckon it's just second child um just being a second child <laughs> I 
out of bed. Because I was like, I'll get that baby some popsicles. Still haven't done it yet. Oh, I bumped you guys. Still haven't done it yet, but I will. We just. Our fridge and freezer is completely filled up. Like, we have a tiny, old, tiny fridge, and we need a bigger one. We really need one, like, twice that size. But for now, baby don't have popsicles. So, I gave in, and I let Maddie get this thing, even though I hate it. Because she was like, well, we do this at Aunt Anna and Uncle Andy's. And I'm like, you can let Aunt Anna and Uncle Andy do that. I don't like it, but it's a silly string. So, I was like, all right, one can, and it's glitter. So, or spray string, I don't know. I call it silly string. What do you guys call it? Do I call it silly string or spray string or something else? Do you call it something entirely different? So, she's got one little can over there. was like pink and purple there were a couple other colors and then this is something Maddie picked out for me when she was at my aunt's one day she picked out a few things for me and Riley and didn't get anything for Aaron and he was like what about me so this is one of the things she picked out for me another thing I'll show you guys in a minute because it's um Halloween themed because she knows I love Halloween and spooky things and all that but this is what she picked up <laughs> you guys it's like the little fake ice cubes because she said they look like ice cubes and I was like that's cute I'm here for it because right now we currently do have some of these little fake ice cubes and one of our friends is always like why don't y'all have real ice I'm like one day we'll have an ice maker one day I promise but right now I mean we just use we decided not to get an ice maker in our fridge to have the extra storage because it's so small and I was like I don't even my husband doesn't put ice in his drinks and he's gotten me on not putting ice in my drinks and I'm like what is life so anyway we have the fake ice <laughs> so the we have two different sets one set is like what would it be oranges lemons and limes because that's what it looks like it's like a little um orange cutout, like a slice you know and it's orange green and yellow so they look like little oranges lemons and lime slices and then the other one we have is like flowers and pineapples is it just those two is it flowers and pineapples and they're like pinks and purples and blue maybe so they're cute they're they're really cute I think I bought both of them from um, Bed Bath & Beyond years ago so she picked these up and I was like yeah that's cute we can definitely go for some more and they look like little ice cubes so she got that I was like, you're so sweet. She's such a sweet little girl. And then I found these. These are like not spooky Halloween specific, but they are kind of fall-ish. And they're just the little pumpkin plates. I was like, that's a cute little thing. So it's just like a little tray. So if you were throwing like a, a Halloween birthday party or just any kind of Halloween party or fall party, or if you have, <clears throat> excuse me, if someone's birthday is in the fall and they don't mind you being cheesy and doing fall decorations and stuff this would be so cute and it's just like a little see-through the color is so pretty it's just real muted like a very pale orange that's so pretty so i picked up two i learned my lesson when i got that um the fruit platter i showed you guys in my one of my last videos the pink one i only picked up one before and i wish i had picked up two so I've kind of learned my lesson if I see something like this like platter wise or something that would be really cute for parties or birthday parties or anything like that I'm gonna pick up two from now on and I have one more platter to show you guys that I got two of because you never know <clears throat> and then it kind of balances it out and then you have you know like if you have one on either side of your table and then you can have something in between so it just kind of gives some balance to your table if you want to if you care about that kind of thing I do I'm weird when it comes to symmetry and like things being even and if I do something on one side of my body or with one hand I have to do it with the other I don't know OCD is weird y'all then I picked these up these are the other platters <laughs> um, and they're just like plain Jane silver platters but y'all these things are like legit like you could whack somebody with this thing and hurt them they're pretty sturdy for a dollar tree plate so i picked two of these up i thought this would be really cute 
to put things like like with our with Maddie's party we did the um the pigs in a blanket that would be cute on here or sandwiches or sandwiches I just said sandwiches with an M y'all that's right sandwiches sandwiches because we like witches in here um what else is I thinking like cookies just something like not chips I would always put chips in the bowl but just something like that like just a little cute you could throw them on here or if you want to put candles on here I mean you can use it more as decoration than using for food but I thought with food in mind just kind of like not something that's going to be greasy and you know wet like I wouldn't put chili in here or something I would put something that's dry and easy to just grab off and so I just got two of them and I thought that was really pretty and I like silver do they have other colors I'm trying to think I don't think they had other colors now they may have a month ago when they put all of the little or they might have put the fall stuff out two months ago and they may have had gold up there because I know they had um <clears throat> what are those things called plate chargers they had some plate chargers in white gold and silver and maybe red um so they may have had other colors in this i really don't know but i would like to look again throughout the fall and see if they come up with other colors like if they come up with a deep red or something that's my favorite color you guys one day my whole house is just gonna have like um crimson red accents all through it or like merlot the color merlot is probably my favorite most favorite color so i'm gonna have that color through my house one day oh, wow. anyways so that's all of the non-spooky stuff i'm gonna put this away really quick and then i'll go through all of the halloween stuff for you guys so first thing i'm going to show you is something i've already hauled but i want to show you again because i want to show you i got some plates and napkins well then i went back and i found a different style a plate and napkin so I want to show you both of them just to kind of see what they look like and I actually bought one plate in one style and the napkins in it totally different and I went back and then I found the opposite so I found plates that match the napkins I got the first time and the napkins about the plate that match the plate and I was like oh okay so the first time I went I got these plates and these napkins with little spiders all of them well then <clears throat> I found these this time and it just says trick or treat but these definitely match this plate i was like that's really cute so i grabbed those and then <clears throat> these are probably my favorite it says creep it real sorry i'm like blinding you guys i've got a window right there. you can see my window <laughs> i got a window right here and i had to close the blinds because it was like blinding me in the face it was so bright so they say creep it real and then these match that really cute so we're pretty set on plates for a while because <clears throat> we've got these which are 18 so 18 in each of these and then I got that huge huge thing of fall plates from Sam's the other day so we're good on plates for a while um <clears throat> and then my little basket I still have it up here I already showed this to you guys but I want to show it again um, I still have not entirely figured out what I want to do with this, but one of my friends said she put some fairy lights in here with some eyeballs, and I was like, that sounds so cute. And what I might do, I picked up some little, um, like, mesh fabric type stuff. I may even intertwine something like that. I would love to put that with fairy lights in here, and I don't know if I'll do eyeballs. Um... I might would throw like three or four eyeballs in there and then maybe put something else that's so kind of like a variety but what I had initially said was use this as like an actual bowl like throw a little towel on here and put you some like biscuits on here or put you something like if we're gonna go for food this would be so cute to do anything with I mean you could do so many things with baskets like this and when I went back they had and I should have grabbed a black one too you guys I should have got two of them I learned my lesson. If I go back into Dollar Tree and I see another black one, I'm probably going to grab another black one. But they also had this in purple and orange. And when I went the first time, I only saw the black. So, keep checking. Because you never know what Dollar Tree has what. Um, so, I found this little pack of eyeballs. They had 
some with purple eyes. My kids are better playing with it, uh, Aaron. Some with purple eyes maybe, but these kind of looked more like a um, like werewolfy, vampire-y type. You know, if you've seen some of the newer type of vid movies like that with the their eyes change to that color. That's kind of what that reminded me of. So I grabbed those. And then this guy, I actually picked him up as a joke and I threw him at Riley and she was like, don't do that. <clears throat> That's a little spider. He's cute. And you can even do like, um, if I put something in here, then I could put him like on top, like he's gonna get you. They had this, they had some hands, they had a bird, all skeleton, um, a bird, and then some other little skeletons I'm going to show you in just a minute. Was that all? <clears throat> I feel like they had maybe some other type of skeleton type thing. I don't remember. Um, anyway, moving on. What do I want to show you guys next? I'll show you these. Alright, so these are just some little pumpkins. And they're just cute. I just picked up one pack because I was like, they, they're glittery and I know I'm not going to use a ton of these around my house. I do love glitter, you guys. Don't get me wrong. But my husband hates it. And I really don't want to make him mad by putting glitter everywhere in our house. But they also had some purple ones with like orange colored streaks going up and down on I think. Was it orange? And they were cute, but I'm not a big purple person. I'm not a huge fan of purple and green like for Halloween I will get purple and green stuff but I prefer the traditional orange and black that's just always going to be my favorite when it comes to Halloween so that's what I did all right let me show you guys these one of these I realized was broke but these are so easy to hot glue back that I mean you can hot glue it and you're not even going to be able to tell but they're little witch hat picks, y'all. Do I know what I'm going to do with them? No. Did I have to get them? Yes. They're a dollar and they're like the easiest thing you could stick in with a bouquet of flowers and make it look cute. You could put it in like I have a little tiered tray over on my table. You could easily put one of these up there on something or lay it down or you could always cut the pick off if you just want the hat. You can do so many things with these. Which one was it? Yeah, the green one. Can you tell? It's like right there. It's like the hat part came off. I mean, whoever made them literally hot glued them together. And you could just slap some glue back on there and put them back together. They're a dollar. They're from Dollar Tree. Like I said, this stuff is great. And it will last you a while. Some things they will last you like two years and you're done. It's fine. You, get, you paid a dollar. It's not like you are hurting because you paid... $15 for a witch hat, which if you pay $15 for a witch hat, let's just hope it lasts till Jesus comes back or if, you know, it'll make it to the apocalypse. I don't know. So, then I picked up this little door hanger. It's probably going to make me mad or make my husband mad when it knocks on our door, but I don't care. It's cute. I have a Christmas one. That's why I wanted to pick up a Halloween one and I would love to get a Thanksgiving one too. Like if I could find one <clears throat> it'd be really cool if I could find one that looked kind of like a cornucopia like if it had fruit on it and like stuff like that or I don't know what other kind you would have for Thanksgiving a turkey find a turkey because the one I have right now has um it's a Rudolph head and it's still had two no I have one I just have the one and it's Rudolph so I thought this was cute to just stick on the door kind of decorate it it's got kind of little bats on it. And these are glittery too. So they're little glitter um, jingle bells. And they also had this in purple, I think. Was it purple? Do they have green? I know they had a purple one. I don't know if they had a green one. And they may have had a green one and might have been out of it. Because like I say, I'm kind of late to the game, you guys. I went to three different Dollar Trees. I went to Dollar Tree three times. Yeah, three different ones. So I went two, two of them here, and I went one out of the area with my mom when we went shopping a week or two ago, two weeks ago. 
So I've been holding on to this stuff for you guys for quite some time. And the next thing I want to show you, I swear I had, I know I have some rings somewhere. My child has already taken them off. I don't even know where they are, but they're very similar to what I'm about to show you right now. And they're in purple, but I got these little spiders that have orange glitter on the back of them. And they're just like, they're, these are not rings, but I did pick up you guys just hear that? Riley was back there hollering about something. I don't know. Anyway, I did pick up some rings that look very similar to this, but they don't have any glitter on them. They have like a jewel, I think is what it is in the middle. They have um, purple in the middle, and I think it looks like a jewel. But there was tin in there, and I think they had green as well and maybe orange i think that's were the colors i had purple green and orange rings um what i want to show you guys next i'm going to show you these um found these little hangers i don't entirely know what i'm going to do with these yet i told Erin what i kind of think i may do is cut the string off right here so then it's just like a little thing you can prop up or even sit in my goal is to find cute little small things like this that will go on my tiered tray so i could possibly put these on there i don't really know so we'll see but they're cute it says beware let's see if i can read it backwards i do know what it says but black cat crossing and then trick or treat this one i love I'm not a cat person, you guys, but I love a black cat. If I ever want, wanted to have a cat, it would be an all-black cat. They're just so gorgeous. Well, I like white cats, too. Like, all white cats and all black cats, but I would prefer an all-black cat. So, they're cute. They're really cute. And then, I got these. And I kind of the same thing. I think I might want to take the little... This one's got a wire on it, not just the, the ribbon. But this one says, eat, drink, and be scary and then that one says what does that say spooky adventures right greetings spooky greetings i don't don't ask me why i thought that said adventures i can't read backwards too well sometimes not in cursive anyways so they're really cute i was like that would be a really cute idea to put on i have so much glitter up on my table to put on my little tiered tray or put somehow you know if I wanted to hang around the house I could but they're kind of small for me to hang around the house somewhere I'd rather prop them up somehow and use them that way so we'll see I don't know all right real quick I'm gonna clean some of this off on my desk I keep moving you guys I'm gonna clean some of this off real quick and be right back <laughs> So the next things Maddie actually picked out, this was from our third, third trip to the Dollar Tree. This was one of the ones where we lived. They had these in there. And so she saw these and I hadn't seen these in one of the other Dollar Trees. And I was like, that's cute. We never do window cleans for Halloween. We pretty much always do them for Christmas. So she got this one. Little spiders. And then this one says Happy Halloween. Oh, cat is so cute. And then 
this one says, get out, help ghost. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> and then this one, some little feet print, feet print footprints. And some blood splatter. I love my kid so much. She doesn't really watch scary movies, so don't think that she's, she ain't quite there yet, you guys. She does like the Halloween stuff, and she does like kind of the things like this, you know. But we watched Halloween Town, and, and it's a smidgen scary, and she was like, can we turn it off? And I was like, no. I was like, it's not really that scary. I said, the, the one guy, yeah, he's a little, a little scary, but then once he's gone, it's, the whole movie is really cute. It's one of my all-time favorites. Once she got past that, she was like, okay, yeah, it's cool. I think what I want to show you guys next are these things. And these are like the little mesh fabric ribbon type things that I was telling you about. Three of these I got one time, and then the other one I found this next time. So this one, it's like black and gold. Like black with the gold ribbon through it which is really cute. Most of these I got in mind um, with my tiered tray. I'm, I've been needing some kind of burlap, twine, something, I don't know, to kind of just fill it in. Cause there are some things on there and it's really cute how it's decorated right now, but it just needs a little something else. I don't know, it needs a little something, something. So I got that one and I got this one cause it looks like a freaking candy corn, you guys. Like that's the first thing I thought when I saw it. I was like, it's candy corn, I gotta have it. Do you guys like candy corn or do you hate candy corn? Let me know if you're candy corn people or if you're not. If you're not, that's fine. We don't hate you guys. It's just that candy corn is like a staple of Halloween. But then again, people would probably also say that like um, candied apples or caramel apples are a staple. I don't eat those. First of all, I'm not trying to crack a tooth. Second of all, I'd rather have like an apple slice dipped in it. That would be, I would try that. I don't want a whole ginormous apple trying to eat it. So, we each have our own preferences. Nothing wrong with that. And then this one. So pretty, you guys. I was like, this would be so pretty with some fairy lights, like intertwined somehow. Are you kidding me? And I found some fairy lights on Amazon that, the fairy lights I found on Amazon are a pack of eight, and they're all different colors. So I wanna think there was white, a soft white, red, blue, yellow, orange, green, white, soft white, red, blue, yellow, orange, green, pink, maybe? Pink might have been it. I was like, that'd be so cool because then you could use them for anything, hold on. I think somebody's about to walk in here. I like your eyelashes. Thank you. What do you put oh, on them? Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Look wow. at these. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Can I have them? Can I have them? In a minute, we can go. Mm -hmm. I love you. Anyway, and then I found this one the other day when I went. And it's just black with some gold spider webs on it, which is really cute. I'm not a huge gold person. I really would prefer silver, but this was cute. Sometimes it is okay to step out of your comfort zone and pick something else than what you're used to. Because most, like, silver doesn't really go with Halloween. Gold is going to look a lot prettier with the orange and stuff. So sometimes I give my silver up for a little bit and I go with gold. I kind of save like my most favorite things for the end, you guys. Not that everything hasn't been my favorite so far, but. All right, so then I got these baskets and one of these already has like so much stuff in it, but I think I already showed this one. So I'm gonna show this one. And then when I went back, they had orange and purple. So I picked up an orange one, it says trick or treat. I said, this would be cute if we ever had trick-or-treaters. We never have trick-or-treaters where we live right now, but if we ever move somewhere, I want to peruse the area first and make sure that people come trick-or-treating because I've always dreamt of living in an area where everybody on the house decorates, uh, everybody on the house, <laughs> everybody on the street decorates their house 
and it's just trick or treat for like two hours. I would love to live somewhere in a little community like that. I said this would be cute as like a little candy dish. You could sit it like your candy inside, and if you're happen to have to go off or something, you could just set this out on your porch. And then, I mean, if somebody wants to steal the whole bucket of candy, it ain't like you've lost out on a twenty dollar bowl that is really nice. You've lost out on a dollar bowl and a five dollar bag of candy or something. So I probably won't use that one too much to decorate with, but I thought it was really cute that it said trick or treat. I don't remember what the purple one said though. And I want to think I did see more black ones, but the black ones didn't say welcome to our haunted house again. They said something different. I was like, somehow I got lucky and found that one that says, what did it say? Welcome to our haunted house or haunted home. Welcome to our haunted home. Somehow I got lucky with that one, you guys. I don't even know. That one came. I bought that one when we went out of town. Maybe that's why. Maybe they had something different over there. I don't know. Then, I'm going to show you. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and show you these things first really quick. I'm not going to show, like, all three in detail. But, I got, you know, three Christmas trees. So, get these out of the way. I picked up three of these little Halloween Christmas trees. Ornaments, obviously, they're not included. It's just the tree. And it's like black and orange leaves. I don't know what you... The little plasticky stuff. It's just black and orange. And I ran into somebody while I was in one, the Dollar Tree where I got these. And she said that someone told her to put five together to make like a really full tree. So I'm going to see if I can make one tree look really good. I might see if I can find some... Um, garland and again with the fairy lights that would be so pretty to just wrap around there and just leave them you know that be just for this tree or whatever <coughs> let those specific lights just stay on this tree all the time so you can light it up and then i have found some ornaments on amazon that i think i'm going to grab they come in packs of different colors like um a pack of just black just just orange just purple you know just red that kind of thing so i think i'm going to get some black and orange for sure. I don't know if I want to do purple. Like I said, I'm not a big purple person, but black and orange would be really cute. It'd be really cute to make it look like um, a Nightmare Before Christmas type tree. That would be so cute. So I got one for Maddie's room and one for Riley's room slash the playroom, which is what it's going to turn into. And then another one for in here. I could do this and set the third one maybe not on my desk but maybe on um, this little thing right here would be nice to maybe figure out how I want to do that I don't know so we'll see it's, or even on I don't know if I'd want to put it on my island or maybe on my cabinets on the other side of this entertainment center I don't know we'll see we'll see I'm not entirely sure yet and then I'm still going to save this. So, this is one thing, another thing that my daughter picked up for me. And I had to go back and get more ASAP. You guys, it's a little wine glass with a skeleton holding it. Like, can we just talk about how cute that is? I love it so much. And she was like, they had other colors and was like, they had black. And I was like, what? black like she knows I love black I don't care what color black pastel black faded black jet black 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 I just love black so <clears throat> like I picked up the orange which I do love the orange especially like as a traditional Halloween color I love orange so I was like mama's gotta go find some more of those and mama found some more I grabbed a purple one I don't think they had a green they if they had a green when they put all these out to begin with they were out of the green when we went so, I just grabbed a purple one, which is still really cute. And then, I would have grabbed two black ones, but I only found one black one that looked really good. So, if I happen to find another black one like this, I don't think I will, but if I happen to find another black one, I'm going to grab one more. So, I'll have two blacks, a purple, and an orange. We'll see. And then, I found these 
also, uh, they were very limited on these. I think they, they had like three black ones, and this one doesn't even look like the best, but if it lasts me for a few years, I'm not going to complain. And I don't think they had purple. I think they had a ton of orange ones and then a few blacks. So I just got these. Just two. I said I could use these as decoration. I have done that in the past with came from a show when my family and I went up to Tennessee. I have it decorated with little stuff inside. But it's a little skull. It's from the little pirates pirates voyage dinner show. So I was like I think I have five of these because one or two were already mine and then my mom gave me hers and my grandma gave me hers and maybe mama had two I don't know stuff like that that's really cute really easy simple throw some decorations in there or whatever or use it to actually drink out of which is what I plan to do is to actually use it so then for the little DIY thing that I want to do I'm going to show you part of it and then I got to pull another piece out to finish off. So I saw on TikTok somebody did a skeleton fairy garden type thing. I was like, I have to do that. I have to do that. That's so cute. So freaking cute. So I picked these guys up, which I'm pretty sure are the same ones she used. I went back and watched it and I think it's the same ones. So they don't bend. The only thing is if you want them to bend, you're going to have to break them like at their joints and then glue them back the way you want them to bend. So, we'll see. Even, yeah, even that doesn't bend. So, I'm going to play around with it. I want to see what can I can get done with this. So, I got these guys. And then, got this little piece in there. I picked up this pack of fairy wings. I would have preferred like a blue color. Or it would have even been cool if it was like a multicolored, so they weren't all with purple wings. But again, that's what they had, so that's what I grabbed. That, that's what I'm going with too, because I do like purple certain times and in certain things. It's really pretty. Like when you think of fairies, you think of like pink, purple, and green kind of thing. So grab that, and then I just happened to see these. These were not on the TikTok. These are just ones I saw up there and it just says, it's a little clock. It says, Fairy Crossing and Playground for Fairies. You guys, those are the cutest freaking little things I've ever seen. They're just adorable. Like, and they're little tiny things. Oh my like, that's so cute. So I'm going to try to play with it. I don't know. They may get used. They may not. We'll see. And I have an old gain flings um container and it's a big one so i think i'm going to just kind of cut it somehow and use that for this i'm going to paint it and stuff i'm not going to use it like as a gain flings container i'm going to paint it with some um, matte black paint and they had moss in there which i would like to find some moss and I think I would like to put some fairy lights in that. I think that would be really pretty if you had the fairy lights kind of intertwined with the moss. And then you could turn it on and light it up. I think that would be so cute. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And let me grab the other thing that's going to be part of that and the last items. And that's it. For, that's the last thing of this, you guys. Is I told you guys I've been holding on these things for so long. And I have so many things that I've been wanting to show you guys. So hold on. We picked up some flowers and they cut like the little flower off. And then glued it onto where they wanted to put it. I said that would be really cute. And maybe even to keep them on the stems and kind of stick them in there. Like um, to look like a flower coming out of the ground would be really cute. And then some of these actually have leaves. So these would be really cute to use and play with somehow too. What did that fall off of? That's random. A little bulb fell off but I don't see that exactly anywhere else that's kind of like a random like it was stuck on the flowers anyways so I let Maddie pick out the colors and she picked white blue and pink 
And so we try to do different sizes. So these are like itty bitty baby ones and then a little bigger. Oh, let's see, it's like those, but that's a different color. Did these come off of this? I don't know, you guys. Whatever the case, I have, it's like the same thing that is, but it's purple. I don't know, we'll put it to use. So anyway, I'm gonna do something with those. And then the very last thing that I got is definitely one of my favorites. I've seen these in people's videos before. I've seen them in the Dollar Trees and I've never picked them up and I'm glad that I finally did. So the first one is this set of purple flowers and Maddie notices, I didn't even notice it, but the little um, leaf kind of looks like a bat. How freaking cute. And there's another one right there. <clears throat> they need a little, little fluffing on them, but I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I had to grab them. So there's at least four flowers on here. Cause like what I do sometimes I'll take flowers and I'll separate them. So when I get them from like Hobby Lobby or something, I go ahead and separate them because I know I'm going to make my own arrangement, which is probably what I'll do with these. I don't entirely know, but there's four in here with the two little bat wings. So that's a pretty nice size little bouquet. And then I found this one with the red flowers. This is almost my favorite shade of red. Like a smidgen darker than this is my favorite color red. And then look at this with a little skull. You guys, that's so cute. And this one's black glitter. And there's two skulls on there. And same thing, it's got four little buds. And then these are probably my favorite. These are probably like Hands down, this is top three of the favorite things that I bought. This black flowers. Again, with the four little buds with a silver glitter skull. This, this is my aesthetic right here, you guys. Like I don't look it, you wouldn't think it because I'm not like, I've never dyed my hair black. I don't ever intend to. I don't wear like the gothic style makeup, you know, but this, this is it, you guys. This is so cute. I love skulls though. I love anything skull, black. So that is all for this haul, you guys. I feel like it's probably gonna be a good hour long haul for you guys. I feel like I've been sitting here for an hour already, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, I'm sorry for being kind of late to the game on showing you all these things, but I promise whenever I go Christmas shopping, if I find something, I may go ahead and put it up as I find it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to be too late to the game on Christmas for you guys, and they've like just skimmed over Thanksgiving. I haven't seen anything specifically Thanksgiving. They do have fall, um, yeah, fall stuff out and kind of a little Thanksgiving-y, but like I've not really seen anything that's like, happy Thanksgiving or, you know, it's, it's like people just blatantly disregard Thanksgiving, you guys. I don't know. So, <laughs> anyways, that is all for this haul. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you found anything that you loved that you have to go out and see if your Dollar Tree has, let me know. Or if you guys do go look at your Dollar Tree, Please let me know if you find these things or if you find something new. If you guys see something that I haven't seen that you think I would like, let me know. Because I would love to still peruse and see if I can get all the Halloween things. I just love Halloween. So, it's, it's my absolute favorite holiday. Other than Christmas, I do love Christmas. But Halloween is it for me, guys. If I could have Halloween all year long, I would. So, anyway, enough with this long, rambly haul video. I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. I totally forgot one thing. Oh my gosh. Maddie found this and picked it up and I was like, what am I going to do with that? And she was like, hanging on our door. And I was like, yeah, it's light. It's light. We can't hang anything on our door because it's like a metal door and I swear nothing sticks to it. When you put the little command hooks, nothing sticks to that door. Maybe I'm getting the wrong command hooks. I don't know, but I'm going to try it again. Well, look how cute it is. And then this little spider glows in the dark. Shut up.
I can't, you guys. So anyway, now that's the end. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.